Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. In this video, we will learn standard costing and variance analysis for subtopic direct labor variance. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. In this subtopic, we will learn variance analysis for direct labor variance, those are rate variance and efficiency variance, and we will also learn the implication of variance analysis. Direct labor variances. The direct labor variance is comprised of two variances, which are firstly, Rate variance. Rate variance is the difference between the actual rate per hour and standard rate per hour multiplied by the actual hour utilized during a period. Secondly, efficiency variance. Efficiency variance is the difference between actual hours work and standard hours at actual production. To calculate direct labor variance, we can use bar method. Bar method comprises of three groups. First group is AH times ER. Second group is AH times SR. And third group is SH times SR. To get the rate variance, we have to compare first group and second group. That is AH times AR minus AH times SR. And to calculate the efficiency variance, you have to compare second group with third group. That is AH times SR minus SH times SR. And rate variance plus efficiency variance. Then we can get direct labor variance. If the first group is bigger than the second group, then it is unfavorable. But if the first group is smaller than the second group, it is favorable. While if the second group is bigger than the third group, then it is unfavorable. If the second group is smaller than the third group, it is favorable. So in this case, A is for actual, S is for standard, H is for hour, and R is for rate. Okay, I will give you tips how to remember the formula. For bar method, as you know that it is comprises of three groups. So we start with a, A, A. A is for actual. S, S, S. S is for standard. H, R. H, R. H, R. H is for hour. And R is for rate. And then, you add the multiply. So, to calculate the rate variance, you compare first group with second group. That is AH times ER minus AH times SR. 
And to calculate the efficiency variance, you compare the second group with the third group. AH times SR minus SH times SR. And the total of rate variance and efficiency variance, we can get direct labor variance. The second method to calculate direct labor variances is equation method. For rate variance equals to AH times AR minus SR, where AH is actual direct labor hour, AR is actual direct labor rate per hour, and SR is standard direct labor rate per hour. To calculate efficiency variance equals to SR times AH minus SH, where SR is standard direct labor rate per hour, AH is actual direct labor hour, and SH is standard direct labor hour. This formula we can get from the bar method formula where for rate variance is the comparison between first group and second group while efficiency variance is come from the comparison between second group and the third group in bar method. If actual cost is smaller than the standard cost equals to favorable and if the actual cost is bigger than standard cost equals to unfavorable. Please note that standard hours equals to Standard hour per unit multiplied by actual production unit. Now we look at example. Sharikat Zain produces market pen for Senaling markets. The cost information for the production are as follows. Standard rate is 50 cent per hour. Standard hour is 2 hours per unit. While for actual production were 100 unit, which actual rate is 60 cent per hour. And actual labor hours is 220 hours. Required. Calculate the direct labor variances. The solution. Firstly, you have to write down the formula. A A A S S S H R H R H R. For A H times A R equals to two hundred and twenty hours times sixty cent equals to R M. 132. For AH times SR equals to 220 hours times standard rate 50 cent equals to RM 110. And for SH times SR Firstly, you have to calculate the standard hour, that is, actual production 100 unit times 2 hours, and then times with standard rate 50 cent. So, equals to RM 
100. So the next step, you have to calculate the rate variance. That is, you have to compare AH times AR with AH times SR. So the difference is RM22. Unfavorable. It is because the standard cost is lower than the actual cost. And for efficiency variance, the answer is RM10 ringgit unfavorable. It is because of the standard cost is lower than the actual cost. So, lastly, you calculate the direct labor variances. That is 22 unfavorable plus 10 ringgit unfavorables equals to 32 ringgit unfavorable. Or, you can calculate the variances using the equation method. For rate variance equals to AH times AR minus SR. So the answer is RM22. Because of the actual rate is bigger than the standard rate, so it is unfavorable. For efficiency variance equals to SR times AH minus SH. So the answer is RM10 unfavorable. It is because of the actual hour is bigger than the standard hour. And to calculate the direct labor variances, rate variance that is 22 unfavorable plus with efficiency variance RM10 unfavorable. So the answer is RM32 unfavorable. Rate variances. Reasons for a favorable labor rate variance may include hiring of more unskilled or semi-skilled labor and decrease in the overall wage rates in the market due to an increase in the supply of labor. While reason for a unfavorable labor rate variance may include Increase in the national minimum wage rate. Hiring of more skilled labor than anticipated in the standards. And inefficient hiring by the Human Resource Department. Efficiency variances for direct labor. Reasons for a favorable labor efficiency variance may include Hiring of more higher skill labor. This may adversely impact labor rate variance. Training of workforce in improved production techniques and methodologies. Use of better quality raw materials which are easier to handle. Good supervision reduces waste time. Quality materials will reduce recurring work. Efficient and well-maintained machine or facilities will speed up work. And efficient and well-trained labor, reducing waste of time and speeding up work.
And lastly, reasons for a unfavorable labor efficiency variance may include hiring of lower skill labor than the standards and decrease in staff morale and motivation. Okay, that's all for direct labor variances. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera.